Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another day in the life. Welcome to Style Mom XO. If you guys are new, I'm gonna go ahead and get some breakfast started for the kids. Today's Monday. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can get this filmed and edited today for you guys to see it tomorrow on Tuesday. If not, we'll see you on Wednesday. Um, but today, I'm gonna go ahead. I need to get laundry done. Um, I think it's gonna be like mostly focused around the laundry room because i want to put together that dresser if you guys saw my last vlog um the dresser that came in cracked from nevea um overstock just said go ahead and keep it and the top is what is cracked so we're gonna go ahead and still put it together and just put it in the laundry room for extra storage so i need to get that put together and then i needed to get the laundry room organized so but first things first have breakfast for the kids let's go we have some biscuits, we have some bacon, cheese, and we'll do some eggs. try this for the first time it is like a bacon cooker in the microwave i've had this for a couple months got it off amazon um it has like over six thousand reviews on it really good reviews so we're gonna test this out for the first time i'm gonna lay my bacon on top um and they pretty much said i read the directions off amazon because i threw the packaging away um one minute per slice and let's get it on there okay so this is one, two, three, four, five. So this should take about six minutes. It's cooked <laughs> and there is no mess, no splatter or anything. Watch, I will show you guys. It's just steam on the side. How cool is that? And the noise, if you guys are wondering, um, the microwave cools itself down. That is stinking cool. I will link this down in the description box again. Really good Christmas present. No splatter, six minutes done. Cannot complain. Got the biscuits, got cheesy eggs. Let's put them together. Biscuit, egg, bacon, and cheese. Little biscuits made at home. There you go, sir. Thank you. Better than McDonald's. Better than McDonald's. Okay, I'm gonna be up there working on the laundry room. Okay, so Dean needs to do some laundry. I have my breakfast over there. I'm gonna sit down and eat and then jump in and get started on this. So we just kinda, we have stuff everywhere. Um, so this is, if you guys didn't see the last vlog, what's cracked is cracked on both sides. It's still holding together, so we're gonna just put it in here. This is what we have right now. 
This needs to go into the garage. These are all of the dresser pieces that I need to put together. And then just try and get this place organized. Um, so the dresser is gonna go right over here. have everything out here we brought out the rack and D helped me bring in the dresser and then we placed the top on top of here versus holding it from the top and bringing it in if that makes any sense so it's in here I just need to put the drawers together now okay we got <laughs> you know <laughs> my little big ears I know Okay, so we, I, I don't know why I say we, it's just me. <laughs> um, the kids are still on their classes for the day. Um, I got six of the drawers done. I think Nevaeh just finished. So I'm actually going to have her help me put these in. And then I will go ahead and start organizing um, the laundry room and show you guys how I do that. The drawers are in. That's how it looks once again so this the only hard part about this was because of the crack it was kind of a bowing a little bit so it was hard to get the top um in between these pieces like if that makes any sense i don't know anyways thank god d um had a break he was on his lunch and he was able to help me get this on um but yeah <laughs> There's an extra screw, so I'm just going to throw him away. And I'm going to start putting this stuff away now. I don't need no one to say you're complicated. Because I 
Okay, you guys, we're done. So we have a trash right there. This, I want to make room in this linen closet for that stuff to go ahead and go into. It's just a quick grab to clean the bathrooms. Um, this candles and stuff need to go downstairs. That needs to go to the garage and that needs to go in the understair storage. But I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. This is how this looks so we just have detergent the unstoppable beans there's very little in here so i'll probably end up using the rest of this today um softener the rest of the other downy beans the iron starch um which we don't need to use starch all the time so i think i'm actually gonna place it right up there which i will go over this so this is pretty much everything that we're just gonna keep on here like i said there's very little left in here, so that's gonna be it. And what's nice is we're gonna have the rest of this to like fold clothes if we wanted to. Um, so that's a plus. This is the like little wall mount for the Dyson that we have. So I am gonna have my husband install this um, probably right over here on this wall. So when it hangs, it hangs flat right in that like little gap right there. Um, and then I'm gonna end up bringing in a smaller trash can to go right here. Once we do bring somebody in to do cabinets and stuff in here, we did get it plumbed for a sink. So a sink will go right here and then we'll have a countertops, um, cabinets, uppers and lowers right here. We have a plug right there. We have a plug up here. I don't know why there's a plug up there, but there is. And then on the other side is the washer and dryer. Um, I haven't even looked for another laundry basket. This one is just a real inexpensive one from Walmart that we got when we were living at the apartment. And then we just kind of have backups up here, softener, we have carpet cleaner and kind of like um, sink draino, bleach, um, extra toilet and comet cleaner, a, um, what's that, electronic screen cleaner, and then we have stain remover, lint, starch, and then this is like my little just quick grab sewing kit. Um, a carpet like scrubber that I got recently over on Amazon and this is our steamer and then an extra iron. I wanted to ask you guys a question because I'm kind of stumped but whoever has this washer let me turn it on okay so this has a smart dispense so what you can do I got the booklet so I can try and look it up if not I'm gonna have to call them but it says tank low so right here you can put 75 ounces worth of detergent in the tank and then you just um can select do you want it auto do you want it more do you want it less or you can turn it off completely it says max up to here i was pouring detergent in and this was not even close to 75 ounces and it stopped and it has not gone down um at all it seems like it's plugged or something and I don't know what to do and it's been stuck on tank low for like the last two weeks so I don't know what to do if you guys have any suggestions <laughs> leave them down below for me if not I'm gonna look at the manual and just see what I can try and figure out if not, I'm gonna have to call um, on this but this is how it is looking um, the top drawer just has cleaning towels, um, swifters, and stuff like that. 
The next one down is kind of our little emergency setup. Um, the fire blankets, first aid, gloves, lantern, and a battery operated fans. Down here, it's Miles's drawer, so I need to put his towels and extra blankets in here. This one in here, I just have the dryer sheets. Um, we always use a bandana whenever we are using starch to put it over because sometimes it will leave a little bit of a white cast on the clothes. So that's kind of a trick. You spray the clothes, place a thin piece of material over, iron, and then you're good. Um, the thing to fill up the iron, and then this is a dryer lint kind of bar thing. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't have anything in there or anything in the bottom one either. So that is gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I need to go ahead <laughs> and start editing it so I can hopefully get it up for you guys tomorrow. Today's Monday. If I can't make it in time, then it'll be up on Wednesday, but I fingers crossed I can edit fast and get it done. I'm just gonna go ahead and be folding some laundry. I'll end out the video with some laundry motivation. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys the next one. Bye, you guys.